Hey, be a squid and subscribe to my mediocrity. All right, what's going on, everybody? Uh, today, we, we're going to go over the dev diary for the three brothers. I saw that they tweeted out that they had done one of these, so I've never reacted to a dev diary or really anything related to Outward, so I figured this would be a, a good idea since we've talked about the Reddit and stuff. So let's go ahead and just jump in to see and, and see what's going on here. Peggy 12. The adventurers of Outward have been through a lot, but are they still That's yearning true. for more? Even yes. after the Soroborians, there was still so much more we wanted to do with Outward. So we did. However, for this expansion we did- Oh my, wait a minute, whoa, hold on a second. That looks so sick! Every, it's so, it looks so much more open. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, let's, let's keep going. Did not follow the same formula. The three brothers have awakened, and the adventure continues. Mm -hmm. This time, we visit the Caldera, a volcanic region yeah. that was recently struck by a natural disaster. The three brothers are the volcanoes Ooh, threatening axe, this area, and their recent eruption has swallowed up the city of Sirocco in Magma. Ooh. Once again, given the experience of our players after more than a year playing outward, we made this region more challenging than the base game. There yes. is a new storyline accompanying this new region, but this time you won't need to start from scratch. This story happens after the events of the four main story branches. As an instrumental part in maintaining peace in Ori, you are given the responsibility to oversee the reconstruction of Sirocco. Okay. You will have to make That's decision cool. as to what you build and in what order. In typical outward fashion, you can't have it all. There is a higher variety of buildings than what you can construct, so you will have to choose wisely. Oh, new stores, oh. new skills, new challenges, and even new enchantments await depending on what you build. You will have to Ooh, manage like construction sword. materials, food, and funds. Multiple visits to town will be necessary to oversee the progress, which will not happen overnight. Of course, you will be able to what invite other armor? players to visit your town and... Hold on. That shit is ugly as hell. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. That shit ugly as hell. I don't like. What is that? <laughs> that is that is not good. I'm sorry. That spear though. I, I kind of like that, but I, I don't know what this Pikachu has. <laughs> this is all right. Let's just keep going. Benefit from access to the buildings you chose. There are many new additions more directly related oh, to gameplay. Shit, new devastating that? status effect, monsters that can ignore 50% of your resistances, a new barrier stat that acts just like protection but for all elemental damage, as well as Ooh. resistance to status effects. There is also a new trainer, the Primal Ritualist. This one uses musical totems instead of mana to cast Ooh. debilitating spells or to heal the caster and their allies. Hunting horn. The ghost drums and the sky chimes require some preparation to place and use, that. but the payoff is worth it. There is also a new type of tool at your disposal to deal with the undesirable. Calderans are no strangers to mining, and as such, know a bit more than others about explosives. So expect to find bombs you can throw at your enemies for when you need to leave an impression. Dude. And finally, Bomb this is probably the incoming, most requested boys? feature from our amazing community. We are adding new arrow types for the archers out there who needed that extra kick and more flexibility from their weapon of choice. All of those new features are intertwined with the town you are building. What you will experience of the new content will depend on the town you build. There will be once again hours upon hours of content to explore. This will be harder than ever before, but you will find the right tools and learn the right skills to overcome everything and anything that gets in your way just as you have done so far. Bravo, boys. That's what you like to see. That's how you hype up a game. Nothing over the top, nothing insane. Just showing the straight facts of what you're getting. Literally, the moment I saw the world, like like at that, this, this right here, I, I, you could have just tweeted a picture of this and I would have been like, well, guess it's out. That, that, that's it, that, that's it, that's it. This looks so awesome, dude. Literally, this shit is way more open and detailed than anything else. In Harmaton, everything's like so condensed. It, there's like shit thrown everywhere. It, it, it's cool, I guess, to a degree. It gives this kind of like funky, weird uh, MC Escher house looking thing. And then, then you got this. That's just 
actual hell, which is what I want in Outward because I deserve that. And then he said that is definitely going to be harder than, yeah, see right here. We made this region more challenging than the base game. That is the shit I want to hear because I've already been over the difficulty thing. I've beaten the game a hundred times. This shit dirt easy. So we'll put this to the test. We'll, we'll see if this really is hard because I call, I'm going to call bullshit right now. But we'll see if, if, if I die to this a billion times. All right, you got me. They didn't really touch too much on the uh, new power guy, the ritualist or whatever. I'm kind of sad it's not a melee thing, but I guess there's only so much you can do with melee. But at the end of the day, I think they, they're doing a really good job here. So far, I'm actually really hyped. This is this is quite the uh, dev diary. So I'm looking forward to the three brothers. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video, boys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.